Hey, all you wonderful, lovely beings of love and light, welcome to the channel, Full Circles Healing. Happy Halloween! Woohoo! <laughs> Gonna do a Halloween reading with a brand new deck. The Witch's Wisdom Tarot. This has only just been released, it came out on Tuesday. So this is the 30th, so what was that, Tuesday the 27th. I had it pre-ordered and I received it on Tuesday and this is the first chance I've got to, to use it. So I haven't even opened it yet guys, I don't even know what this looks like inside because I've been saving it. I wanted to do it as a kind of unboxing. So it's, it's got a, you can see that, it's, it's, it's magnetic there, so it's a lovely big box. Alright, so there we have some writing and oh it is it's a poem right and it says magic of feather song and air awaken inspire and make aware magic of claw hearth and fire warm enliven and inspire magic of fin womb and water love and drama conjure Magic of fur, seed and earth, and body nourish and give birth. Magic within, an animal no, an around awaken. Spirits answers, and guidance taken. Wow, what a lovely poem. Okay, so we've got guidebook here. It's quite quite substantial sort of cloth. Yeah, it was well covering. And you've got lovely seam on the inside here can you see that properly yeah you see that that's better that way then okay so the witch's guided uh witch's tarot uh phyllis curo or curot and it's artwork by danielle barlow okay and this is done through hay house so it's an a hay house publication Okay, so I got it on Amazon. You can you can find it on Amazon, and you can see uh, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the normal thing. Although what I am noticing there's no real like pictures of the cards and things as such. There's like at the beginning, you know, you get maybe air and things like that, but there's no pictures of the cards. Um, they probably have some different different meanings as well so I might have to look at some of the meetings as I go through this counts of all beings I would imagine that be judgments uh, eight of air well okay yes clarity seven of air yeah okay so it should be all right and it does come in a pouch look at this isn't this wonderful so I'm just going to take it out oh hey I'll tell you what they are quite weighty they are weighty and there's something on the bottom and it says, ask your question, shuffle the cards, open the book and take a look. Spirit here hears what's in your heart and answers with love, wisdom and art. Okay, so I don't know if you can read that. All right, but it's a lovely box. It's a good solid box. Good presentation box. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to unpack these. Let's see with these. I like so this is this is like a like a hemp kind of pouch so I think this has been made from uh, that's a feel of this as well could be that's been made from recycled uh, paper and things like that so that, so they're not covered in they haven't got any plastic on them oh look at these look at these they have got like a band around it so I can take that off I can I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, that's an easier way of doing it. Okay, so let's have a look at these, see what they're like. Okay, so Ace of Air, I would imagine that, that that's the, the Ace of Swords, and you've got the Two of Air, Two of Swords, and so on. The Three of Air, it's got birds. You know, so you've got trees, and you've got birds. Five of Air, you've got the, like, like an owl. Yeah, it's like owls. Oh, wonderful. Oh, look at this six of air. You know, six of swords and so on. It's, it's, it's all natural sort of uh, 
sort of natural beings, if you like. They're they're, they're uh, not not natural beings. These are all like based on, if I remember rightly, on North American and English sort of like well UK Celtic British kind of things. You know the animals going back to the to nature. I think that's that kind of situation. So a lot a lot of these will depict scenes of nature uh, as well as people as well. So you've got here. The, the Witch of Air, so that's the Queen, the Queen of Swords and so on. These are good, i tell you what, these are good thick cards. But then you've also got that Harry Potter kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter, Craftsman of Air, that could be the Knight. Hmm, Goddess of Air. Well, look at the, look at the Goddess, so that, that's, yeah, so that's in many religions, that's, that's uh, the spider, isn't it? The spider mama or mother spider? In some uh, beliefs. So I'm not quite sure what the craftsman is. That king that must be the craftsman. I think the craftsman must be king, the king of air, the king of swords. Very studious, very logical, practical, and so on. So it's a mixture of sort of natural, and uh, if you look, kind of look through, looking through, it's a lot of uh, natural things, as well as well as you know the animals, the nature sea animals as well people you know it looks really good really good oh look at this one Isn't that lovely you know the, the seven of earth seven of so that'll be the seven of pentacles i'd imagine yeah seven of pentacles well oh, look at the moon look at the moon one look at that look gorgeous so lovely all right so i'm going to do a reading with these and i want to do a halloween reading see what kind of energy we're going to be uh, dealing with over Halloween and but first of all I'm just going to shuffle the cards up a little bit so I'll be back in a moment okay so I've shuffled the cards a little bit <laughs> as best as I could I'm going to shuffle a little bit more uh, I've sorted them all out so they're not all hopefully not all in the same suit <laughs> and so on we'll see how we go right so this is going to be a Special Halloween weekend reading. I'm going to do it that way. I'm just going to pull three cards and see what the energy is going to be for the Saturday and the Sunday, especially also for the Saturday because of what's happening there with the full moon and everything. So let's have a look to find out what is going on. So, for the collective, please, for the highest and greatest goods, what do we need to be aware of? What do we need to be aware of? Thank you. Right, so let's have a look. We have got first of all the six of water. See this uh, beautiful card here. We've got the uh, the gannet coming in to do its fishing. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six fish. Yeah, so the gannet's diving in for food. It's coming for breakfast <laughs> or dinner. So this would be the six of cups kind of energy and uh, so this is something perhaps a past situation that's coming back uh, someone from your past perhaps coming back perhaps so it can also be a soulmate energy can't it the six of cups or it could well be that uh, for some of you you may be thinking about things in the past um, especially with, with, with the current situation with with, with all the restrictions and everything that we've been put under in many places you could be thinking about times the way it was before covid came on the scene kind of situation you know what i mean and uh, so you could be a bit of nostalgia around or you could be chatting about how things used to be the good old days in, in that sense um but there's still a lot of balance it's it's it's, it's, it's not like a hot tempered or anything without a rush or anything it's nice balanced energy okay then we have the six of air movement movement forward you know i've got these two lovely gorgeous swans here you know and they mate for life swans do you know and in the in the regular tarot the normal tarot would be like a boat and be a lady on it perhaps two people on it being uh, uh, rowed along or, or stayed along by, by another male who, who owns the boat perhaps like a ferryman 
or perhaps she's doing it herself you know, and it means moving out of stormy water into calmer water and that's what these guys are doing you know they're on with their uh, little signets you know they're moving on into better area um, you see there's a lot of snow and stuff there so maybe they're moving on to warmer climbs so there could, could be a journey involved uh, for some of you maybe you're planning a journey perhaps you've been talking about previous holidays things like that so you're maybe planning to go somewhere but you know it, it could be because it's Halloween and so on maybe you want to go somewhere where you can cel celebrate that if you can you know I think most of here in this country anyway as far as I know uh, here in UK um, the celebrations the organized firework displays and things like that have all been cancelled because of not being able to do them in a socially distanced way you know which is a, a big shame for, for many because a lot of uh, charities put these events on obviously to raise funds and that's going to be a big hole in their purse in that sense you know but this does mean a moving forward so that's a two sixes ah, there we go and then we have the nine of air so nine of swords so some fear some worry some anxieties which are unfounded you don't have to worry about them you know because it's all in your head you know there's no need to think you're going to get stung by the wasp's nest you know because you think, look at look at these uh, this wasp's nest I mean where are they going to they're going to the, the cactuses they're going to the and the cactus isn't going to get stung is it you know because they go into the to the flowers they want the, the nectar and so on from the flowers yeah and you've got these uh, so you've got other, other flowers here around from the, the tree they're, they're not damaging the tree they're not doing anything to to the tree at all the tree's not worried so it's, it's unconcerned in in that way so these are just like little things which sting us in the middle of the night you know we overthink the situation and we tend to create little negative scenarios don't we about certain situations so that's the kind of energy overall what does it mean as regards to this weekend well, we have got the full moon coming up haven't we uh, on Saturday and that's a blue moon it's known as the blue moon because it's the second full moon in the month and it just happens to be in Scorpio a Scorpio season so it's going to be very intense energy and the, the energy of the full moon is Taurian because it's going to be in Taurus so then that's been practical that's been logical that is to do with thinking things through properly you know so there's no need to have doubts and worries because whatever it is you're going to be thinking about whatever it is you're going to be planning it's going to move you forward anyway you know you are going to be moving forward and it's going to be something good swans like I say made for life so that's an indication that if this is to do with the relationship there's going to be some kind of permanence with this relationship and this could be to say someone coming in from the past if it's to do with work could also be that kind of situation where you're going to get more of a permanent offer or perhaps a new offer of work something totally different and that may be the cause of, of some of your concerns because you're just wondering well what's it going to be like it's going to be a new place new people have got to get to know and things like that what if I'm not good enough you know what if I can't do the job what if I'm not, I'm not doing the job well enough how long am I going to last that kind of situation you know and also especially here in UK there are those of you who perhaps are on the furlough scheme which ends on the Saturday so you're wondering if you're gonna have a job afterwards because the, for those of you who don't know the, uh, the furlough scheme is like a job retention scheme where the government British government has been paying uh, majority of the wages up to 80% I think of the wages of people who uh, in in businesses and so on who have had to had to close down or have been seriously impacted by all the corona uh, the COVID-19 situation and 
just to help that business, those businesses to stay above water kind of thing. But that scheme is coming to an end, finishes tomorrow, 31st. And they're bringing in a new sort of uh, uh, scheme where they'll pay up to 66% of the wages the government will. But then the the uh, people affected by that, when they go into work, they only have to do like one day's work to qualify for that kind of thing. However, they, they, there is a, a kind of a, a fear that some jobs will be lost and will be redundancies because companies will just can't afford that kind of situation because they, they can't open or, or whatever. It's all very complicated. So there could be some worries around that, you know, that kind of situation. Uh, six and six is 12 and nine is 21. Two and one is three. So that's a new beginning. Okay, a fresh start, a new beginning. So something new is happening. And it could be related to something you did in the past. For those of you who are looking for work, um, it could be something that you did in the past that you're going back to. Perhaps you get a job offer from a previous company that you worked for and recently left. Or perhaps you decide to go out on your own. And that, that could also be a cause of concern you know, could you be thinking, well, will it be, be successful with it? You know, is it going to work out? You know, things like that. Just believe in yourself. And the main thing to do is to believe in yourself. Yes, the, these things can happen. But do take time out to meditate. You know, the, these swans, they look serene on the water. But underneath, their, their legs, little legs, are going 90 little dozen. So they're putting in the work to stay serene. So that's the message here, because this is the central message, is try your best to, to remain calm and, you know, even if just outwardly calm. I know inside, you know, you'd be, whoa, you know, and everything, but just use meditation to relax yourself, to, to bring yourself into a position where you're able to see and think clearly, you know, because that's what this is also about, six of air, air swords to do with thoughts to do with thinking to do with beliefs and so on and the same here this is the, the negative side of those thinking that thinking you know unfounded you know unwanted thoughts these could be limiting beliefs that are holding you back um, for example you might be offered something that you've done before but you're thinking well no i gave that a try five years ago and it didn't work out 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and it didn't work out. What makes me think it's going to work out now? What if this happens? What if that happens? That kind of thinking. You can overcome that through meditation and by sending those feelings love and light. You know, that sounds very simplistic, but, you know, that's how, how it works. One method I use uh, is, is what I call heart-centered meditation where you breathe in and out through your heart you you breathe in and obviously you're breathing in and out normally but you imagine you breathing in and out through your heart and as you breathe in you fill your heart with the energy of a high vibrational feeling such as love such as joy such as gratitude and so on and it's amazing how this can calm you down when, when, when you're feeling really uptight and anxious you know you take a few moments just to breathe in and out of your heart that can calm things down for you and you can start to think clearly because your heart is communicating with your brain all the time and it's sending its signals it's communicating it's relaying information and if you're getting palpitations in your heart you now because of what you're thinking those fears are going to be amplified by the brain because it's going to create the chemicals and send it out into your body to make you be in more fear and you start going into fight or flight mode then and that's where the stress comes up and fight or flight's good in situations where there is danger but where there's no danger it's not so good okay so i think this is just just a warning really just just to just to be careful because the, the the energy is so intense over halloween you know uh especially the way situations are right now in different parts of the world it is it's already been building up this last week even you know with, with protests and, and other situations that have been going on 
and obviously you guys in the states you've got the elections coming up and you know that's that's building up the tension there it's coming up there's division it is instead of unity there's division it is people being pitted against each other you know and and some of that is deliberately so you know and here in UK there's a lot of tension and confusion over the different lockdown restrictions and all these kinds of situations and people people all around the world are getting very tense you know and it's just it could well be that over the weekend it just explodes it could well be that something just explodes because according to astrologers right the moon the full moon is in conjunct with Uranus now I'm not an astrologer okay this is just what I've learned from uh, watching different astrologers on YouTube and listening to podcasts this conjunction or conjunct could mean something explosive and surprising happens because Uranus is about surprises apparently okay so it's the planet of surprises and and, and you know it's, it's a bit like a tower situation I'm not seeing the tower here but I would say almost you know, that would be the kind of situation that could happen over the weekend that something explodes like a tower kind of situation it brings down an institution brings down a government brings down a person you know personally it could be something in your life breaks up a relationship forms a relationship it could also be that as well it's just something that's going to be a big surprise over the weekend you know that could have you perhaps overthinking things a little bit so but you can temper that with being balanced you know you got you got this gannet here it's diving into the water you know it's missed the fish didn't, didn't get didn't get any fish this time round. so what will it do it'll just go out swim back up and fly around and then come back down again and, and try again you know and the fish in this case have, have uh, gotten away so you know, with hunting and stuff like this for example nine times out of ten the, the animals hunted get away yeah you know, and the, these the birds and so on you know they do the they fish like these gannets you know they're not always successful they don't get a fish every single time but just this just means balance because that, that's the natural balance of things because if they were 100 percent successful 100 percent of the time there'd be no fish left you know in that sense because they'd be big fat waddling things <laughs> you know because you know they, they wouldn't have to uh go fishing so much because it'll all come to them I suppose but this, this just means balance and I'm waffling on a little bit it doesn't matter this just means balance having balance in your life this is for me this is also Libran energy because be, being you know even though it's watery it for me it's very much like temperance you know being balanced you know doing being in what doing things in moderation and that's what you, I think you got to do with your thoughts perhaps and your actions just just to be balanced and moderate I suppose in, in that way so otherwise I mean it's gonna have a fun it's gonna be a fun weekend what I'll do I'll just I'll just pull another card or two just to get an idea if there's anything else we need to know there's a whole bunch of cards going there now do I need all yeah okay I've been told to use all these right okay so you've got Craftsman of Earth. Craftsman, look at this. This is like the green man kind of situation. I would say that this is the Emperor. The Emperor energy. I'll, I'll look it up in a minute. I think that's the Emperor. You've got Goddess of Earth. Goddess of Earth. No, sorry, no. That, that would be the King. King of Pentacles. Or King of Coins. So that would be the King of Pentacles. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles. And then we've got the shaman or the shaman and I would say that would be like the hermit okay it's number 13 yeah I think that might be might be I'll, I'll look that one up and then we've got the ten of air so you're finished you're done with it you've had enough so whatever the situation is you've done with it and you're moving on so this indicates like I said there was a three energy there this indicates that there is something coming out to an end and then you'll be moving on to something new so I'm just gonna change my eyes <laughs> put me reading eyes on I want, I want to know what this uh, see what these are so uh, 
So we've got choo choo choo, just give me a moment, there's about seven of air. Nine of air. So nine of air is transition. Okay. So death comes to nine of air. Okay. So death comes to all living things, to all our human vanities. It's frightening. What's the anti antidote to nightmares? Open your eyes. There's a divine being within you that has outgrown the past and has uh, and is ready for a new life. Learn what you need to and move on. So yeah, so that works really well with that. You know, it's these unfounded fears. You know, if you wake up with these fears, you know, get up, walk around, have, have a, a drink of water, and then go back to bed and relax. You know, sounds simplistic, but it does work. Just relax, think about, distract yourself, think about other things, more more beautiful things. The ten of air is about murmuration. Okay, uh, the council then is, it's time to let go of the need of explanations, reasons, and rational understanding. There's wisdom in your heart that's longing to be free. You're on a journey to awareness beyond the self, inspired by something mysterious and beautiful that is part of you and greater than you. Stand in awe of the divinity beyond explanation. Let your spirit soar. So that's that one. You know, so the ten of swords, that, that normally ten of air, is, is like, you know, stick a fork at me, I'm done. You know, that kind of situation where that's it, you're at the end of the road and the only other way is you can't go any further down so it's time to go back up and start again. The 10 is a transition card, it reduces the 1 and 1 is the magician. Right, so I want to have a look at 13 Shaman, Wisdom, Pilgrim, Council. On this path of becoming it's time to find a teacher who will teach you the skills you need to discover your true self, to accomplish whatever gives you joy, to fulfill your destiny. When the shaman appears, you are called to listen to the voice of the sacred. To hear it, you must be willing to work in darkness, as the shaman does. Learn to journey. Call the spirits who have deep compassion and love for you, and ask them to help you navigate through your life. Pay careful attention and be blessed by the heart of the divine pulsing through creation, pulsing through you. It's time to sense the sacred in the world and in yourself. So that is the, the hermit then, okay? So that's going within, meditating on whatever situation it is, you are, know, and moving forward with it. All right, so I just want to... Craftsman of... Uh, earth, earth, earth. Yeah, all right, so it must be up here. There you go. Right, uh, Craftsman of Earth. Without wild growth, your spirit will lack its full power to manifest, uh, to, to manifest. You need to let go of some of that control you've been taught is necessary. Get outside, feel the rush of nature's power. Experience the wild, chaotic life force that your soul needs to grow. Pay attention to what the plant people have to teach you. Embrace and embody your green, growing and natural spirit. Okay. So that's the craftsman of the earth. So that, that in fact, would be... Yeah. So, yeah, so that would be like a king. And then we've got the goddess of earth. So we switched it around. Normally you'd have like the, the king first and then the, the, uh, the queen, but we switched it around a bit. So the earth goddess, Mother Earth, appears to bless you with the nourishment your body and soul need. She embodies love of, and abundance. Here is the real law of abundance. One seed planted, tended and harvested yields a thousand. But you must also know the real secret. Take no more than you need. Give back in kind and there will be always be enough for everyone. Okay, so seek divine guidance in whatever the situation is that comes up. Seek divine guidance and listen to it. Be wary of it, heed it. 
and you will be abundant. You'll find the abundance. Everything that you, you've sown, the seeds that you've sown, will come to fruition. But you need to get in touch perhaps with yourself through meditation, touch with your higher self, touch with whatever divine source that you normally turn to in times of need. That will help you get over these fears, you know, these anxieties, these unfounded things, these limiting beliefs that probably ingrained in you when you were a child or through personal experiences while, whilst you were growing up. Things that you're still hanging on to, you need to let go of these. That's what that's saying. That's what I think the king is saying here, or the craftsman here is saying. Let go of those things because in true nature you've got nothing to worry about. Okay? New beginnings. Definitely something is going to happen over the weekend that will encourage you to make a new beginning. May not be the Saturday, maybe on the Sunday. I'm feeling also that this energy may be going forward into the coming week. So it may not be the weekend. This just helps you to be aware that something is going to happen. All right. So be prepared for that. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I am getting right now. Apologies if that seemed a little bit confusing. Like I said, brand new cards and I've worded them a little bit differently, different, slightly different meanings and so on. But I am enjoying using these cards. I'll be using these again soon. Get, the more I use them, obviously, the, the better I'll get to know them and I'll be able to, to convey the message a lot better as well. But basically, change is coming and it's coming fast. All right, and you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, that's it guys, and wish you a happy Halloween. Bye-bye now.